What's up gamers, gamers and gamers, my name is John and I came back from No Game No Life Zero, the movie man, it was freaking awesome, by the way I put a poll on the community plate page if you guys want me to review it or not, like no spoils, please, no, don't review it or anything like that, I couldn't decide so I made a poll for you guys for like, you know, to choose, I really did enjoy the movie man, I, I did love it, like, oh my God, so many things, but I'm not even going to get into that, but that's not the thing. But welcome back to History Nubia Cannot Be Cured, or aka Kurechuna. Uh, basically, last time we made our little pink hair lolly freaking at the park, basically. We were trying not to get by, hit by, the, by a ball. Along with that, after that, the team were still developing their game, and we almost got a fight with our freaking programmer. But, because he had enough with our shenanigans of, you know, she knew it. But now we're going to choose another thing. Are we going to choose school? Are we going to choose the library? Are we going to go to the cafeteria? Or are we going to go to the park again to meet Pink Hair? I bet these are choices, like, yeah. So, I already picked uh, park, because that's where Pinky is. Uh, cafeteria, who will be at the cafeteria? You know what? I, I, I want to try library. I want to try library. Let's go to the library. Let's see. Alright, I head over to the library. Wanted to just, uh, to just uh, <laughs> wanted to just spend the rest of my day in uh, relative silence. Sure, I've well, got silence at home, but it's also pretty lonely there. After all, there's no, there's always nobody home apart from some of our helpers. Sumiki's so probably at the bookstore. Shiro's probably out with her friends and my parents. Well, who the heck? knows uh, what they're up to. Do they even know they still have a son at their home? <laughs> Who knows? Jeez, why am I so depressed today? I grab a manga off of the shelf and the next volume to the one I was reading before. It's still about the man with the powers of rubber. Who goes off on the journey to become the great pirate? Oh, nice reference. <laughs> He used to be uh, the only one in his team with powers, but they all believe him because they could see it plain as day. Wish I had the same. Uh, wish I was the same with mine. Gee, oh, that's a news post. Jeez, if I could just show them. Ha! They'll be all. A girl suddenly walks up to me, sternly shushing me with her finger. Be quiet. You're at a library. But I was just thinking to myself. She gives me an evil glare and I just sigh, standing up to look for another place. As I walk through the aisles, I see a flash of blue from one of the farther tables. Hmm? That couldn't be anyone else but... As always, she's still working as quietly and passionately as ever. Sighing, I just take my seat next to AI, who didn't even notice me coming. Okay, so back to the rubber man. <laughs> back to the rubber man. I can hear your voice from here. The way she suddenly spoke surprises me so much I ended up shouting a bit. Almost a dozen uh, pair of eyes in the section turned towards me. They're looking in the end, indicating a sure death sentence for me to next uh, make another sound. AI suddenly smiles, looking amused. Aww, despite my tight situation, I couldn't help but smile as well. Hey, don't have fun at my expenses. It's your fault, not mine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I glance over at what she's doing, only to see her creating more character art. Is that for our game? Perhaps, just some ideas. Wow, that's really nice. This one is also pretty cool. And, oh, oh, this could, one could, she gives me a look, which I already understand well at this point. Okay, I'll be quiet. Open in my manga, I get back to <laughs> reading again. But you know, it's really great that you can do something for our team. Sometimes I feel like I'm becoming too useless. Maybe I should just try and do something else. The sound of a pencil lit. Lead scratch on the paper suddenly stops and I look back at AI only to see her only staring straight at me. You're not useless. Huh? I don't know why, but I feel uncomfortable all of a sudden. You've done a lot for our team, June. You shall never be useless to us or to anyone. 
No, I just mean I'm... I haven't done much, you know? Before, I felt like I was the only one who cared as much, but now I've realized. So what if my top priority if I can't c even contribute anything to it? If only I could use my powers, maybe then I could help everyone. Yeah, it just stares at me as I make my little speech. I probably sounded a bit uh, more helpless than I actually am. Oh, that's a new post. Use your powers on me. Oh! <laughs> Use your powers on her. What? You have the powers to grant wishes, don't you? To do anything you want. I just give her a sheepish grin. Yeah, but they haven't worked in so long. I'm not sure if I should try now or maybe I need more practice? AI shakes her head, obviously determined. The look on her face makes me want to disappear from the right of the spot right now through the... Sorry, if I squeak a chair, yeah. She looks quite scary when she's serious about something. I want you to grant my wish then. Oh. But, da da da. Fine, I'll do my best. I close my eyes, concentrating hard. I don't know what her wish is, but I focus on trying to imagine AI happy as she could be. As happy as she could be. Come think of it, I never seen her in that state. No, June, focus. Breathe in. Breathe out. Calm yourself down and think. I look at AI hesitantly. Well, da 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 da. Did it work? Da 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 da. It didn't work, did it? I sighed silently, frustrated. I already had ink and uh, inkly that it wouldn't work, but don't understand why I still agreed to do it in front of AI, potentially making myself look like a fool in front of her. Maybe I should just stop making everything worse. Thank you. Huh? I shan't know if it worked, unless it does happen in the future. But no, it probably won't, so just... Who are we to say that? You may have the power to grant my wish, but only I can say if my wish has indeed been granted. So let's just wait and see. Oh, that's nice. I like it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> she puts one hand, uh, hand under her face, going back to her drawing and leaving me speechless. AI, thank you. AI looks at me with a question mark on her face. I don't know why, but that makes me feel better somehow. You're weird. Oh, but I'm not normal either, so I don't really care. I just stare at her as she started shading in detail to her character sketches, making them more defined and polished. Silently, I go back to my manga in my hand, but I find that I couldn't focus anymore. She's blunt, but I take one brief glance at AI. I'm glad. Transition. Ah. <sighs> the phosphorus cycle. Nitrogen cycle. Carbon cycle. Water. Ow! I tentatively bang bang my knee quite uh, quite painfully on the trash can in front of me. Jeez, can can jeez, can what the heck are you doing in the middle of the road? Can? I thought it was a trash can. Oh, okay, never mind. Phosphorus. It's exam time once again, and I can't waste even a single second by not looking at my notes every chance I get. And since one of my very few chances I have doing my review and while walking on the way to school, then so be it. Sumiki and Shiro looked really funny when I told them that I would walk, actually. We usually have the driver drive the three of us over every morning, but not today. No, I decided to come with them, not come with them today. I need to get my blood uh, circulated, and I can't do that while sitting uncomfortably, uh, uncomfortably inside a chair, I mean, car, whatever, except exercising while reviewing at the same time. Talk about the ideal student! I rub a sore spot on my knee. But damn, that hurt! Transition. As expected, the hallways are packed with students who are all reviewing amongst themselves. Yeah, look at all those students! Everywhere you look, everyone is ho holding their notes and studying, or at least trying to. Even though I don't like schoolwork very much, I do enjoy seeing people work so hard for something they want. I know I should be able to use my power for most things, but it sucks that I can't use it for exams. I already tried so many times. 
I walked along the hallway looking for a spot where I could sit down and continue studying. Finally, two students stand up and leave at, far, at a far corner. My eyes still on my notes, I start walking towards the direction of a newly opened spot only to be bumped by somebody. Kaguri. Hey! Watch where you're going, wimp! I look up, that voice can only be one person's. I knew it. It's Kaguria, the head of my rival group. Behind him and his teammates, also known as his goons. They have a, sort of a dog luck loyalty to them. They seem to go beyond their game development group. But anyways, as far as I know, his group specialty is also visual novels, unlike us. However, they are already a fact because they already created games, usually released during school festivals and school events. I never played a game of theirs, but I think their themes are usually action and fantasy. The reviews are pretty good, actually. Is that just a Kagura? Uh, Kira and I go a long way back and history between us isn't good so I don't want to accidentally show support by playing something he made. Yeah, I could be spiteful like that. Da da da. Kigura frowns at me. Hey, small fry, aren't you gonna apologize? I just continue staring at him. There's no way I'm gonna say sorry to this guy when I'm pretty sure he bumped me on purpose anyway. The other students in the hallway have already taken notice to see what's happening and starting to murmur against themselves. Kigori glances at them before turning back to me. His dark eyes grow even darker as he stares me down. Of course, conflict would be bad for his image, not that it was good to begin with, anyway. To my surprise, he suddenly leans closer to me. Don't you dare mess around with me. Got it, that? Got that? Not when you or know I'm already a step higher than you. R blah dots. But you're planning to join the auditions of the Hell Hellstorm's sponsorship, huh? I say not a single word, but I make it clear in my eye that my answer is yes. He seems to have taken the hint. You better just give up now, my team's joining too. And there's no way you can beat us. An arrogant smirk appears on his face. You never even finished a project, not even once. How can someone like that even dream of competing? You will always be below me. Always remember that, Mrs. Shima. And just like that, he leaves, bumping my shoulder again as he does so. His goons just smirking as they follow their leader, going out of my sight. I can't help but sigh in relief after they left. Well, at least there, uh, there wasn't a fight. I resume my walk towards the open spot. However, in the rockets, it seems that somebody has already gotten it already. Dang it. It was a pretty good nice spot too. Stupid Kagura. Jew? I whirled around hearing another familiar face. This time, uh, it was one that I was pleased to hear. You know what? I think I'm gonna leave it off for right here for right now, guys. Sorry if this was a short episode. Uh, I gotta get ready for tomorrow and stuff. And got a lot of things to do. Along with, let's see. I don't know. Depending on you guys is on the poll. I do the no game, no guy, the no game, no life, zero review. Oh, that movie was good. I recommend you guys go see it if you have it in your selected theater by Phantom. Check out the website. Get it available. See it as best you can. I was surprised there was some uh, anime fans like on my theater, which was pretty cool. So yeah, th that was pretty cool. Along with that, also I'll be working on some other project with Ronin, like I said from the previous video. And thank you guys so much for the support and all that. And another thing, just another reminder: streams will be on Twitch. If you don't have a Twitch, you can still like watched um, Twitch uh, channel like even if you don't have an account like still spread help out each other help me um, and yeah thank you guys for tuning in for next time so for this time so without further ado guys I hope you guys have a good night good evening good morning from wherever you're from so peace out and say never guys bye bye